Hello world, I'm Alcap. Welcome back to Cultist Simulator Mirror of Glory, where we are playing as a Lantern Cult, going for a Lantern Victory. Or an Enlightenment Victory, but you know, same thing, really. Now, at this moment, we are working at the Institute, our, our physician job, since we are a physician. We are gonna get a Season of Dread coming up. We have some Dread here. We have some Sickness upon us. We are recruiting an acquaintance into our cult. We're not dreaming, we're not exploring, nor are we studying. We should probably be studying passion, I think. Because we want to increase our passion, after which we probably want to increase our health as well, since we don't have any health right now. But that uh, doesn't really matter. Keep okay, affliction, we're gonna need to sleep this away with the funds over here. Also, we should probably just go to mall and get some more books, since we have some money. Okay, Valsiana is in our cult now. She is Forge, of course. So let's just speak about the locksmith secret on the streets and get more people into the cult. And we'll just keep doing our job every chance we get. Okay, we found the Orchid Transfigurations Volume 1 from Morlands. And you know, it doesn't really matter what we get from Morlands because we are gonna buy every single book from Morlands. The thing we want from Morlands most of all are these collections of essays and poetry because uh, they make uh, increasing our stats quite a lot easier. Okay, is this old unhappy far off things? Bloody hell. That is more dread basically. Hmm. Well, if we can get another passion we can pa paint the restlessness away. But I'm not really sure if that's gonna happen. Okay, at least we got some health now. And hey, this is gonna give us a contentment, which is gonna get rid of this dread thing here, so we're we're fine. Find an introduction to histories for Morlands. That's nice. And hmm. Thinking like, do we just spend all the money like if we go to Morlands every minute? Oh, it's only, and it's only 30 seconds. No, we can go to Morlands every time it's available. Okay, gets us the restlessness over here because we only make two gold per minute here, or two funds per minute. So we can't spend two funds on Morlands because uh, this always takes one fund per minute. So yeah, we're gonna have to always wait a little while before we go back to Morlands. So we should probably. See if we can put people in the cupboard with the heterodox church. So I don't know if that's something we can do there. Well, I, I hope it is, because as we are a lantern cult, we want to put people in the cupboard at some point. Okay, the dread is going away. We're gonna have a season of notoriety upon us next, which I don't think we really care about right now since. The Ooh, Neville! Hello, Neville. Would you like to be in our cult? Of course you would like to be in our cult. What am I even talking about? Come into our cult, please. Yes, he is ready. Hmm. Okay, we have passion here. And that is gonna turn into a dread before we can paint it away. So let's just go sleep on the woods with passion. And work, 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 work. Kept Neville's in the cult. Neville pauses before he speaks and flinches easily. He is sensitive to deeper matters. He is, of course, a knock fellow. Where'd he go? There you go. Sulakana, we're really not gonna need you like ever. I mean, you're use. You Sulakana is a very useful person or very useful card to have because if you just speak to her, you can just keep anything locked there. So basically, like if we want to get our uh, skills higher. It's quite easy. It's like put a uh, lesson learned and locked it uh, there with Slokana. Right. Feed my imagination. There are more windows in my soul, but sunlight is not the only thing that passes through a window. Right. Um, and yeah, I wanted another health as well. So let's uh, do that next. Study our some of our health. We might work on our health as well, just to make it a tiny bit easier to get some more of that. 
And now we are in the woods. I don't want Pecunia Rumors. Like, Pecunia Rumors lead you to people you can put into your cult, sure. But they will also give you notoriety, so there's... Like, there's not much point in using them. Like, they make things go a tiny bit faster. But they just give you a, a danger there with the notoriety, so... I, I would never recommend anyone to actually use a Peculiar Rumor. So, I don't know, let's just head to the well. Get an awareness of appetite. Every sense is heightened, every sensation deepened. The well in the wood is never dry, but it's never clear. One night it might hear with crawling roots, on another it will pulse with bright moss. On nights of the full moon its waters are choked with the fat dabbled bodies of moths. Last night I saw it bring him with dark and viscous blood. Gelatinous shreds drifted on its surface, clots of grail matter. Right on, right on, right on, and... Wait, here's one passion. Oh, that passion is exhausted. Right. And back to the woods we go, hoping to find uh, some secret histories from there, because that's, I would say, the main reason to dream are the secret histories that you can find from there. And of course, in the end, you're probably going to want some influences from the door, so that is also a thing to think about. Bloody hell, took my passion from there. Right, so we get a vitality from there, and we're gonna get a vitality from here as well. Hmm. So should we just read some book? Like, my notes aren't... I might have said this already in the previous episode, but my notes don't really tell me what these books give us, because I started taking notes on books uh, later on in the last run I was doing, so we're probably gonna have to read all of these instead of just read the ones that would give us some good stuff. Traveling at Night, Volume 2. The annotated dream journals of Christopher Illopoli, sometimes called the only readable occultist. Literate, entertaining, bewildering. Uh, this is the second volume. There is an extensive discussion of the similarities between Illopoli's own dreams and those of the Emperor Elagabalus, who Illopoli regards as a dupe or avatar of the sun in rags. The white is the west of the world, Illopoli remarks, and winter does not wait forever. Oh, it takes 60 seconds, right. For some reason, I thought it would take only 30 seconds, but uh, it doesn't matter, the vitality is gonna stay. Ooh! Dread, once more. Well, we're gonna have to sleep on some opium soon. First, we're gonna go to the woods here. Uh, buzzing in the brain. Let's uh, see, can I find. I can find stuff from the temple as well. Let's go look at the temple now. Some trembling airs from here. In the wood beyond the walls of the manses, a jagged rock rears like the petrified remnants of a dancing giant. I trailed my hand along its flank, over the eye sign and lichen and the crude graffiti of the lesser wood powers, and I felt the thrumming of the wheel which has passed. It has passed, but something continues. Trembling ears, that's actually a uh, level too hard to influence. The toes tap, all is brisk and all is well. And I no longer have passion to dream with, so we're not gonna dream. But now I have some vitality, so we can get some more health going on as soon as we read the book. And every time this opens and I don't have anything else to work with, I'm just gonna work on that job at the Institute. We get Tristan, so we can take Tristan into the cult. Tristan is, I believe, a forge person. Okay, now we have passion, so we could dream. So, let's dream. Elagabalus found his way to the white door at last. Thankfully, speech can't pass the white door, and honestly, Elagabalus never had anything very interesting to say. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I never learned enough of the white. I suppose I'm thankful for that, too. But here's what I do know. A sextant secret. Hmm. Right on. Wait a minute, could that lead us to the door? Like, the text kind of... Hinted that this could lead us to the white door. 
I know I can get to the white door by using more lantern influence, but can I get there with a the winter influence? Hmm. I need to try that. And now we shall go to Morelands and buy a book. And then we shall combine these vitalities into more health for us. Okay, Tristan is in our cult now. Yeah, he's Forge. Forge, 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 Forge. This is Valsiani. Yes. So, let's speak to more people on the streets. It's always a good idea to talk about occult matters on the streets. Get the Viennese conundra. And sure, let's just buy more books. We have six money there. It feels like it's safe to use some of it right now. Especially since we get more from our work all the time. Ooh, an occult scrap. That is nice, so we can explore that soon. Hmm. We might need passion here soon. Okay, got uh, more health and uh, some skill here. Hmm. Okay, we got an erudition here, so we probably want to try to get more erudition happening right now. And sure, let's just keep dreaming of the woods. I mean, uh, we're gonna need the passion. Hmm, 26, and then I think there's... Is it a minute or 30 seconds? Well, we'll see if it's a minute or 30 seconds. And the burning of the unburned god, which I believe is something we're probably not ever gonna even read. Okay, let's uh, explore this occult scrap. Oh no, sickness. That is unfortunate. We took that passion. Of course you took that passion. Well, we can still uh, put this passion in here if we're just uh, careful enough here. Okay, let's put the passion in there. So no bad dreams for us. So what are you doing? You're considering the evidence. Now nah, you can't make any evidence. We haven't. We don't have any notoriety. Right, another peculiar rumor. Let's go to the well. Another awareness of appetite. Got us an erudition here, so let's use two of these eruditions to make an erudition lesson learned. Which, with, I think we're gonna need three for the next one. Okay, what did we find? The Forgotten Mithraeum. Where we're gonna need a lantern or knock. We have one knock person here, but I don't think he's good enough for us to actually go to the Forgotten Mithraeum with just him. Because he'd probably get hurt. But we we're, we're we're wanna go here because there's a lantern tool we can find from here. We can find a, a cracked noon stone from here. So we're gonna be wanting that at some point for sure. Okay, affliction, we shall dream that away with funds. You're probably gonna turn into Wait, where is my temptation? Dedication, enlightened. Yeah, why aren't you taking that? Interesting. And uh, yet, yeah, we're detective found nothing. Oh, now you're taking it. <laughs> uh, who did we find this time? A hanger on. I don't think. Hmm. No, I see no reason in even getting that hanger on into a cult right now. It's better to try to get more people. You give us the restlessness. Yes, I think we're gonna try to paint that restlessness away since we have some passion over here. Right, that's what we're gonna do. Paint the restlessness away. I should probably use my vivid imagination. I'm gonna get another restlessness from here, so maybe I'll use my vivid imagination for that one. Okay, what did we give us? Right, the erudition lesson learned, so. Uh, let's see, uh, notable scholars, we're gonna need three of them. So getting one is gonna take three minutes. Yeah, cause uh, two times to study reason for erudition and then to study those, that's three minutes. Uh, this lasts for five minutes, so it's... Yeah, we're gonna have to lock this with Solokana or 
you know, we're gonna have to paint this. No, we're gonna paint the restlessness, so we're gonna have to lock this with Slokana. Also, we should probably... Ooh, another exotic cravings! Yeah, we should probably sleep on some funds to get some, uh... Okay, contentment. You want some reason? Oh, that means that there is a patron. Okay, got rid of that, got us some more glimmering. Let's use our vivid imagination. And do we have any mystique? We have some mystique here. Right, and then let's use a passion over here. And we'll use the restlessness as an inspiration. I mean, it should burn the restlessness away. Okay, contentment, you go over there. And we don't need new contentment right now, so... Ooh, fascination. Don't really care about that. Uh, also... Right, if I dream on the way of the woods with the sexton secrets... A light in the wood, not enough. Crap. So that is not enough for sure. But maybe I can use the winter secret there. Just needs to be a higher level. One. And this is not going to be exhausted. Oh, it actually is going to be exhausted before this is done, so... Uh, you know what, we're not even going to use any money for paint here. Okay, erudition. Uh, more erudition, please. Where's my reason? There's my reason. Alright, you're looking for fascination. We don't have any fascination, that is nice. Okay, doing the paintings, we get a fleeing reminiscence here. And we found Madame Boucher. Hmm. Right. So, Lakana, we'll talk to you about this erudition lesson learned because we're gonna have to keep it locked there for a while. And we've got tons and tons of stuff here. A couple of funds. Oh, we actually, did get a couple of funds. And one, two, three, four mystic. Well, one of we already had before. Uh, is there anything else we'd really like to? paint right now. No, but we have a couple of glimmerings here now, which we could turn into a glimmering lesson learned. Uh, but no, 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 we're focusing on uh, reason right now. Put the passion into the dreams here, so that we can actually get through the woods. Head for the temple. Ooh, we got a first time truth. Nice. In my sleep, I came to High Jagged Rock, which is still called the Temple of the Wheel, though the hour called Wheel is long extinct. Another hand had scratched a secret in the Black Lantern on its flank. I burned that secret into my memory to observe for waking before the Velvet came out of the Velvet Wood Depths and erased it. The Velvet is jealous of her secrets. Right, so we could explore that thing as well, just to find out what it is going to give us. Okay, we get an erudition here, so turn this into a lesson learned. Completing reminiscence over here. A couple of them here already. Actually, Madame Bichet, go to... I don't know. Go over here for now. Okay, so let's see. This is still gonna be around for uh, not enough, so... We'll talk to Sulakana about it once more. Okay, what did we find? The Gwer Inn. Hmm. Well, we can find a Latin grammar from Gwer Inn, so yeah, we're gonna go there as well. But here, there we're gonna need uh, Edge Moth Grail for Watchers and Forge or Knock for a Warded Door. We have some Forge people here. We have one edge peep person here, so probably don't want to go actually to any place before we get these guys to a tiny bit higher level. And you know, it's gonna take a while before or we get to that because we're gonna be doing these things first. You know, upgrading our skills here first, and then we can start reading books, which then leads us to getting higher level lore, which leads us to making these guys higher level and to better dreams and. All that good stuff. Also, let's just go to Marlins and buy us a book. Okay, so let's see. 
this is gonna be around here for over three minutes now so yeah we don't need to talk to Slokan about it anymore because we can make a third one without these things going away right so let's just talk about the locksmith secret get more people into the cult we found the six letters of necessity from Morlands yeah sure let's just buy some more books Okay, more erudition. Where's the reason? There's the reason. Please give us even more erudition. Oh, some wrong kind of attention. It's gonna crap some of our mystique here, but no matter, we're not gonna be doing anything really bad for a while, so it's, it's fine. We'll take the awkward scrap here. I walked in the wood last night, and the scissors worked in the distance, and the third thing scrambled my mouth and swarmed my ears, and I felt the old urge to drop to full force and nose among the roots. But I remember that I walk upright by day, and I know fire and steel and words, and at last I found the velvet had concealed a secret on tree bark beneath moss. I read it then with the tips of my fingers, and I think now that I could write it in full. Right on, and we got a collection of essays! That's very nice. Let's give me some more collection of essays, please. Because uh, if I find two more, that's only the only thing we really need to get uh, our highest level reason. And back to work. Hmm. The locksmith's dreams, portions and portions and proportions. Right, and we have that occult scrap. We'll study that. Got some more erudition, so let's turn that into an erudition lesson learned. And then we can increase our reason. Gonna see contentment. Do we have any dread anywhere? Nope. No dread for us right now. You have some passion here though. A couple of passions and a hanger on. Don't really care about those hanger ons that much. So let's just talk about the secrets on the streets and let's dream about the woods. Okay, what did we find? Cater and Hero Limited. Is that a place where we want to go to? That is most definitely a place we want to go to because we're gonna find a book that gives us Lantern 6 over here. Uh, we're gonna need Forge or Lantern to get there. We can get Forge Four. So this actually means it's yeah, it's a good idea for us to explore and try to find as a person that you, like there's the bomb maker who's got more forge. So getting more forge would be awesome. Right, 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 right. Skill, notable scholarship, and three erudition lessons learned over here to increase our reason even more. Some big thoughts coming over us once more. That doesn't really matter. Okay, so who did we find this time? A shifty woman. We know we don't need the shifty woman. So we went to the temple last time, yeah. So let's go. So well this time. Ooh, a third time truth from the well. The velvet is strong at the well in the wood, and the velvet is the hour that keeps secrets. But now and then she lets a little secret fall, like a crumb at a feast. Last night they found a moss-clad rock written all around with the secrets of another history. I might give thanks to the velvet, but it will be wiser not to draw her attention. Right on. And we don't have any more passion available, so we can't let dream right now. Or I mean we could, but uh, we don't need to dream about anything that we could dream about. Okay, now we have a profound scholarship. Right, and yeah, for the next part we're gonna need four of these and something more. Which I believe Lantern Secret is good enough for, like, uh, Lantern Lore is good enough for this. So we could do that, but I really just want to buy more and s completely empty before we do that. Just so that, uh, if we can find more of the collection of essays from there, it'll just be a good idea to do that. Now I think I want to increase my passion further, so 
You know what, now let's increase health. Increasing health is really, really easy, usually. You just need to, uh, we just need to work on our health at the same time. So, we're, our money income is going to decrease a little for the, a little while, but that doesn't really matter. Hey, Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra will take you into the cult as well. Actually, let's, uh, I wanted to test this. Can I just put people into the cupboard? No, it's into the vestry. Betray and present a follow-up. Okay. But at least we can still do that, so it doesn't change that. Even if we have another, uh, headquarters. Right, Rhaenyra, come to our cult. Please, 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 please. We have good stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's go to the woods with some passion. Okay. Fun on what is contained by silver. Actually, I should probably check if these books, right, if any of these are worth reading right now. No, 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 we're, we're, we're increasing our stats. We're not going to be reading books later on, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just send the pawn out, because if we find the person to, who's got a forge, it would be a good idea. Right, and then we're going to work on our physique, because that also gives vitality. Hey, who did you find? A fortune teller, not something we wait. But again, lantern. Hmm. Do we need lantern for something? Like, well, the forgotten Mithraim works on lantern, so lantern 5 might just be good enough to get us there. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, 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 let's take her and send her to the forgotten Mithraim to find the stuff that is there. Rhaenyra, your grail, yes. And let's peek on the streets some more. Got us a vitality here. Let's get more vitalities. Back to the woods. We'll head for the temple once more. Alright, we can find vitality from the well. That's where we need to be going. Right, uh, yeah. Mmm. We're speaking of esoteric matter, so we're gonna need to have one passion around here just waiting for us. Okay. We have two vitalities here now. That's good. And we find the fortune teller, so we'll send the fortune teller to the forgotten Mithraeum. Some funds. And, uh, yeah, we can't work our physique right now, so we'll just work at our position at the Institute. Right, you give some more vitality, yes, so we'll get uh, some more going on. Oh, and to see some sickness upon us as well. Well, that is unfortunate. But, yeah, you already took that one health, so we can... Mm, no, we can't do anything really right now. Get a vitality here. You are doing fine there at the Forgotten Mithraeum, yes. And I think we're actually going to end this episode here and continue from this in the next one. I'm a cop. This has been Cultist Simulator Mirror of Glory. Goodbye world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.